you'd be interested, I'd be more than happy to share by a live example. It depends how comfortable you feel in receiving, but the energy right now is just slightly in the throat. I'm always down for a interactive experience for the listeners and whoever's watching. And so if you're comfortable with it, I am all on board with it. Okay. So yeah. So let's let's just see what wants to come out so you can get comfortable and whatever that means for you. Eyes open, eyes closed, and just tuning in to your breath and your body, bringing yourself fully present to this space, honoring that we get to take all the time that is needed to offer love and support to whatever wants to come through. And I will say that, you know, this medicine that comes through is is from the one that we are all connected to, that we all come from. So any listener that feels like joining, that feels that ping, that resonates with anything that I say, you can claim to receive this medicine as your own because I trust that these words will make it to everyone right on time when they are ready to receive. So the current energy is a, uh, <clears throat> a restriction in the voice, very constricted and like there's a hard time swallowing. <clears throat> so we're just gonna just be with this constricted energy in the body for a moment. Some of the most potent medicine is radical acceptance. So we honor, we honor this part that wants to show up that maybe is constricted in fear or doubt. And we ask for this part to be received. You may find that you have comfort holding a part of your body or sending your breath to this space so that we may work together. Mm -hmm. And as this space softens to receive new life force, we're going to offer a voice. Sutua natatea kakaya sutua, takanatea sutu koa, kakanataya su anetatea akaya sutua natatea aka tu sutu koa natatea, hakaya satua tu no koa, natatea tikaya su anetatea kakaya sutua. Sua tana kaya tetea tua na ta su tua na tua kaya a ta nua ta tea a tua kaya tu tua na tea su kua na a tea tu su kua kaya tua na ta tea a. You are too powerful to be constricted. Su kunu tua ka kea ta a na tea su tu kua ha kai kea tu nua ta tea ku kua ka ka ta na ta tea. No one can censor you. No one can restrict you. What are you waiting for? This is old. This is an old story. You're being supported in this clearing. Do not hold shame or blame for your voice. Be who you are. No matter what, the world needs this now. You cannot wait. Sukuana tatea a gatu nu tua sutua sutua nata da. It's time to honor your ancestors. This voice is a gift and it is a gift to be used. Sutua. So use it. <sighs> Just taking a little time to breathe into this space. I know it's a little scary and it's okay to be scared. We find freedom in each breath, breathing deep into the stomach, exhaling all fear, breathing in peace and out fear, and taking all the time you need to really breathe with this, with this message, with this clearing, with this space, knowing that you are held in so much love mm -hmm. and so much happiness. And when you feel ready to return fully to your body, you can start to wiggle your hands, find your feet, oh, come back to this call when you are 100% ready. And of course, if there's anything you'd like to share, 
more than happy to receive. That that seems to be a reoccurring message across the case. And I always think like, I have my podcast, I'm doing it, I'm speaking. But I feel like what felt within is like my own channel. Is that what I'm blocking? My own channel? Because I feel it and I connect to it. Is that disconnect of how I show up here and how I don't bring that piece to. I definitely feel it. I mean, I can like feel my throat. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. I appreciate that. Asking you a couple more questions about that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. That part of you, you know, that disconnect you talk about and that awareness, if you tune into that part of you now, what is that part feeling? Shushed. It felt yeah. shushed. It felt, I think, just me as a person always felt that way. And I thought this was my way of unblocking that. And so I think I always put that judgment or that expectation that it was from other people. But I'm wondering now, is it really, I've created this channel. Is it me that's shushing that or worried about what that may be? The judgment, the judgment from other people. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that part of you that is possibly shushing the other part of you that really wants to have that channel open, what does that part that is receiving shushing want to receive instead? Just allowance to be able to do it, whether it's for me or for someone else, just to do it. I will say I've recently been going on these channeled walks where I just talk to myself while I'm walking. And so I've been nurturing that a little bit more in the last week. I think it's just more of she's quiet. And that she, she can be heard. She doesn't have to be so quiet. Mm, yes, that's beautiful. And I love that you've already identified a self-care practice of that self-nurturing. And now you're able to give that part of you that was shushed in the past the healing that you need. And you also get to play that part of the adult that has the tools to do that. And when we start to offer our own medicine to our own parts in our world, then those parts start to trust us and will speak louder to you and your channel will open more because instead of shushing, you're going to invite that in with discernment and say, I've got you. What would you like to say, right? Just because my anger comes up, my parts used to be like, Blah. <laughs> and I had to be like, I hear you. Thank you so much. What are you trying to tell me? Ah, I got your back, right? It's safe now. I'm sorry for shushing you. And I'm going to hold space and create space for you to be whatever you want to be in a safe environment and surround yourself with those that will also encourage that. That's so important on this journey. When we are coming into our authenticity, we can be very vulnerable and very scared of the judgment of others. And I've found that it is so critical in this time to only surround myself with those that will 100% offer medicine to my wounds when I find them, which is, again, that path of that medicine man or medicine woman of if you're going to point to a wound, you better be there to bring medicine and not venom because so many times people open something up and only to add more venom to it. So discerning of who is your circle to offer you medicine to an open wound that you're now wanting to dive into. And that's where communication is so important. Letting people know where you're at, where you're sensitive, what you're working through, and what you need as medicine in a season. It's only going to be a season, but in this season, it's super vulnerable. Yeah, that makes so much sense. And like, there's been kind of something this week that kind of triggered me. And it's with spiritual people and supportive people. And I think my first reaction is to not voice what I truly want. And so I did kind of voice it and we'll see what comes of it. But yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and your medicine. Welcome to Float Activity, the channel that guides you on a transformative journey towards spiritual wisdom, self-development, and healing practices, all aimed at elevating your intuition and aligning you with your soul's purpose. I'm your host, Kara Dempsey, and I'm thrilled to have you joining me as we learn together. Please subscribe and share this with a friend to help grow my channel. I appreciate you, and we'll chat soon.